He turned out of the aftermath from Hurricane Fiona, the island of Puerto Rico, slammed by that storm that arrived five years after Hurricane Maria. People across the island go in the extra mile now to try to get food, gas, electricity as help arrives from our area. Eyewitness News anchor Joe Torres is live this evening on the ground in San Juan with a look at the recovery. Joe? Sandra and that help, Mayor Eric Adams and a New York delegation of leaders arrived on the island today. They met with the governor of Puerto Rico, the mayor of San Juan. They talked about resiliency and building a bigger, better, stronger Puerto Rico. That all sounds well and good, but talk to the people here on the island, and they're quick to remind you, we have no power, and it's been that way for a week. The Sunday morning strategy paid off for these people in Puerto Rico's second largest city. Get to the gas station early, fill up the tank, and top off the canister before the lines get dreadfully long. For 57-year-old Teresa Almodovar and her 27-year-old daughter, that's just about the only thing that's gone right in the past week. Like everyone else here in Ponce, they've been without power and water since Hurricane Fiona arrived last Sunday. The last week has been... Very difficult um, for surviving without uh, electricity and without uh, water. I spend right now like uh, 95 or 100 bucks in, in gas. A week? And in, in, in this week. This week. In this week. Just in gas for the and generator. gas for the generator. Miles to the west of Ponce, on the island's south shore, the sights and sounds of recovery fill the air. Utility crews cut through snapped trees and broken limbs to access the power lines trapped underneath. Across the way, a line of cars snaked out of the gas station. The fuel isn't just for the vehicles. It's also for the generators that keep freezers on and phones charged. We're uh, trying to go to the store, buy ice to make uh, drink some cold water and some yes. stuff like that. What about cooking? Uh, we don't have no gas, so... We had to defend with the neighbors. Mayor Eric Adams arrived in Puerto Rico and ventured to the far southwest corner of the island to survey the damage in Cabo Rojo. He reassured the people there that New York City stands ready to provide immediate assistance. When the mayor of New York City walks into a smaller city like this, and brought, brought all of the agencies that are connected with this, it sends the message that uh, the people of Puerto Rico matter. We have a population of elderly people mm -hmm. that are alone. That's one of the problems we have here in Cabo Rojo and Puerto Rico. Now, the New Jersey State Troopers that we bumped into yesterday at the airport in San Juan, we saw them again today in one of the towns we visited, Guayania. They will certainly provide help with traffic because, again, the lights are out. But equally important, if not more so, they provide a critical security presence as day turns into night in a town. Remember that has no power. Stay with us throughout the week as our reports continue. We'll catch up with many of the first responders from our area that are here on the island. And of course, we'll talk to more of the storm victims who say that help is so desperately needed. Sandra